I mean, we are a weird mix of designers, uh, academics, and I guess like default kind of artists by accident, just yeah. because of a place where our work is shown, really. So we're quite lucky to, to be part of university and academic research as well mm -hmm. uh, in that sense. So again, it's <laughs> part of work which is accidental and part yeah. of work you're looking for this accident. It was uh, trying to find a place in IMAP. And so we spotted a glitch in the system that mm -hmm. uh, it just takes time to render and you see part of the city and it's still the grid that uh, the app, how it works. Yeah. So you. So, so we started photographing these moments in the mobile phone, which is also something that is not thought to do. Is is really is the mobile allows you to do things that is not allowed within the application for saying. But then we start looking at these images and how it connects with. Unless you enter the grid that it creates this image, but also there is a historicity problem there because you are around the city with the mobile, you're looking at something and that something is in the mobile, but it's not there anymore. In so the all this yes. happened in okay. a time where that's it was that's all that's this that's gentrification that's of London, yeah. and, and you partly were able to see how this, this digital world is formed that you think is real, but it's not real. And also, it doesn't concur, uh, concur with reality. So I'm reading this as one particular aspect of, uh, aspect yes. of the research that, okay, so I thought it was sort of the underlying. No, that's, no, that's really one. I mean, I, one I, I think that it has a part that, that goes through that is like this interest in that kind of underlying systems mm -hmm. in within everything we do. Yeah. So that's what interests us. So a lot of our work is to do with, for example, with cinema but with cinema from the perspective of the production space. <laughs> is so it the accidental then that you're looking for? The yeah. incidental? But I, thi but I think many times is, uh, isn't it part of, you only see the accidental or incidental if you're trying to see things. Yeah. It's accidents happen if you're looking for them. It's otherwise, yeah. it's just one more. But also a lot of the you accidents you try to provoke yeah. to kind of force and try to see what yeah. these things happen. So Jessica invited you to, to join us here. Um, it, it, in, in what way is your work related to, to her theme of... of um I mean, I think that maybe probably more because it's that interest in the systems and how things are created since the beginning of our work. We've we had this look at kind of not... I, would, I mean, I wouldn't call it ecological concerns, but they are sort of underlying how other alternatives to production they could be. So I think that we've done a lot of work in that sense. And then we collaborated with Jessica in Wanju in the Biennale. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and then from there, I think we started a, a little bit of a kind of relationship that has uh, come to this point, mm -hmm. I guess. But, but I think also connects with uh, and co direct the Masters uh, Space and Communication in La Head in Geneva. Yeah. And so it's also the connection of the place. So we started conversations, we met Annelik and the team, and so a group of uh, students, we came in September when it was no snow no at snow all. At all. <laughs> <laughs> and no need for coats. So, but it was amazing because they really gave us a, a talk about the the surface and the very deep parts of the summit and so which is a luxury for our students to get to hear everything in a very honest way. Are the students going to be with us also this Yes, time? they're, yeah, they're coming them, tomorrow, yeah. yes. So so we develop a few projects and some things they did get to happen. So it will be tomorrow in the conference space. We were looking at alternative ways of how to generate conference space. Do you think art uh, though um, is the platform for 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 um, researching and promoting the notion of change that, uh, that Jessica and, and, mm. and, and, and you guys are, are, are looking for? What I, I think that is right now, I mean, as soon as you, you don't work in, in research in industrial terms, yeah. then you are left just with one kind of venue that becomes a bit of the art world. Now that you are always uh, situated in a weird place because you are like someone that is almost no wanted <laughs> in any <laughs> world. <laughs> but I think that is like going back to that. No, I think that a lot of uh, our work is always been like looking at the idea of ephemerality. So it's, 
ephemeral installations that happen and then they get disassembled and, yeah, yeah. and disappear. Yeah. And I think that, for example, that's going to be one of the main topics that we are going to be talking about in relationship with yeah. everything, with land, all the themes of, of, of the summit. But it's true that art has uh, a space for uh, debate um, and in design is harder somehow because design is seen as a commercial yeah. industrial activity yeah, yeah. and all kinds of design and and but there is a there is a strand of design that is very critical and is really looking at the world and but there are no venues for this kind of design because it's not something industrial that you sell in shops yeah resource hungry we're dealing with um, resource or anti-resource, <laughs> is that something that you were, that you were... Uh, I think uh, in, in naturally it came, is, uh, I remember when we started and, and some people were, this is a bit arte povera, it's, well, I think when you lack resources, yeah. it's just naturally arte povera, but lack of resources also make you very aware of the use of resources, yeah. and in a way that has worked. Uh, How for do us we create a lack of resources? That would be nice. Yes, right. well, that's what in a way no. what we need to do in order to to change the mindset. Uh, right. the, because also the aspiration is to have more resources, yeah. and I think yeah. the the aspiration should be to to work within less yeah. resources and how and you learn a lot by when you start, yeah. and you you have few things and you can do so much with so little, yeah. and it, and it has a strength that some of the work suddenly when is it has a bigger production loses. And yeah, doesn't yeah. mean that the other work is not interesting because it allows you to do other kind of work. It's a, like but it's, way. it's yeah, about yeah. understanding yeah. that uh, resource is something that you can think as part of the work, yeah. okay. not something Perfect. that it comes only with the production, then you think about that. Is a In the last year, we've, we, we've been talking about the fact that, of course, it's you know, to, to isolate yourself in this little mountaintop here um, <laughs> once a year and uh, discuss with a very uh, limited group of people would you have any uh, thoughts on the strategy as to how, once the incubation has taken place, mm. this weekend is done, uh, how to uh, somehow extract from that mm. weekend uh, the things that are important to you and how to spread that around? Is there, uh, do you have any? Uh, I mean, for me, I think that is an obvious channel through students mm -hmm. because at the end, they are the people who are going to be doing Absolutely. stuff in the yeah, future. Yeah, yeah. And I think that it is interesting in terms of us, for us, we, whatever we take from here will become part of what we talk about with our students. So I think that for me is that, that we can do as, a, as an organization. But I, say I, I, I think that is something definitely that is a lot of potential to really promote those things. That I think the books are really interesting way of doing it, but I think maybe it's not just the only format right. yeah. that is right. today. I think it's a. It's what could a be another format? For example, we are going to be trying to, to work with some other designers and try to generate a kind of workshop, TED Talk, yeah, yeah, <laughs> TED yeah. Talk is yeah. now that can be communicated. So it's like we're not you just here talking about things, but you can see how other yeah. people are experimented or trying to apply ideas but, but I think also already the people speaking is the yeah, word of mouth is a very important and uh, they, but they also they come from different places and we are academics and we work in different countries different universities although we work together so already this starts disseminating yeah. so it's always interesting is you can uh, start a conversation that is gonna have ripples yeah and that's why always since we started working in academia was very important for us because it was about how we together with the students are changing yeah. design or where, so where we want to generate change. The network change. is very important yes, and it's also yes. met, been mentioned before already, the network, the, the building of this network every time you do the summit, mm -hmm. you know, this network gets sort of you know, larger and larger. Um, and of course, the Buddhist approach, you know, that exactly. you have to just trust the fact that once you send the signal out that, you know, it kind of um, emanates through. Uh, uh, but of course, we're in an urgency here, you exactly. know, we're, we're in a climate urgency where we, we don't have much time anymore. So in a way, we need to accelerate. But also, I think that it's interesting to think because you have all these groups of like 
climate change deniers, uh, climate <laughs> change urgency. And it's like sometimes I think that it is like there is no real new thinking about what really means or what we are. And I think that that's quite an interesting thing to kind of promote. Like maybe we need to face that the reality that things will never really be like they were when we were younger <laughs> <laughs> or when our <laughs> parents. Yeah, 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 but yeah. but also it's like, but as uh, still a lot of the strategies always like look at these things with nostalgia of wanting to preserve things. And maybe there, there I don't know if there is alternative ways of thinking of how things No, but can I think you, you hit a very important point here is that you need to change the, the mindset. You need mm. to change the, 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 the sequence of thinking. Right? Yeah, you can't solve the problem that that started in a certain sequence of thinking by, by thinking the by same way. By going back, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. by yeah. thinking yeah. back. Yeah. 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 The thinking. No, well, well, that's yeah. what it's I mean, it's that not is a that time that machine yeah, that we can go back. Yeah, so, no. but that's the problem. Is uh, it's also ownership. I think now younger people are very involved. They are, and, uh, and they're very aware. Our daughter is eighteen, and she's totally aware of what's happening. I think a few generations back, thinking of the students, they they were not so interested no. or aware, or it was not part of their constant. Uh, but in the last 10 years, you see students worried not only about the environment, but the people around them. Yeah. Yeah. Well so it's like this thing that we always tell the students. It's like, look, if this would be easy if we were teaching you something we know. <laughs> 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 but, <laughs> but we are trying to that teach you something true. that we don't know. Yeah. So it's like when then you have to try to experiment to try to see how you can bring different approaches, ideas, so they can come with the original thinking, not you. It's and like here's the artistic hmm. mind, because the artistic mind is a mind that researches, mm. that doesn't yeah. seek any confirmation, but just keeps on hmm. yeah, keeps questioning on and questioning and questioning. And questioning. But there is that inquiry in, yeah. uh, in the students, and that's amazing. Wonderful.